Oh, welcome back to our tiny apartment kitchen. I guess if you live in New York, this feels like a large kitchen. Yeah. Welcome back to our kitchen. It's Friday, a little bit after five o'clock, and what we like to do on Fridays is what I like to call Fun Food Friday. <laughs> Which means we try to have something a little bit fun, a little bit, I don't know, I guess a little bit less healthy. Broccoli doesn't always feature in Fun Food Friday, mm. although oftentimes it still does. Yeah. So we're making pizza, um, probably cut some footage in here of making the dough earlier. This is from the Flour, Water, Salt and Yeast book by Ken Forkish. Um, so I've taken out the two doughs that we're going to use tonight, the other three are in the freezer. And I'm going to make a barbecue chicken pizza. And I'm going to do pepperoni. With barbecue sauce. With barbecue sauce. She's a real slave to the barbecue sauce too. She's allowed to have tomato sauce. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> we choose the barbecue sauce. It's yeah. delicious. some of this bacon which is frozen, throw it in the pan and cook it off until it's nice and crispy. And then I will cut up some fresh chicken fingers and cook those off in the same pan, uh, which I'll toss in some barbecue sauce to make my barbecue chicken pizza. What are you having? While he's doing that, I will probably snack on the bacon that he cooks. She does steal <laughs> a fair amount of bacon. And then eat some pepperonis. Yeah, it's a good plan. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this sliced up. Um, we just turned the oven on. It has two pizza stones in it. We're too impatient to cook pizzas one at a time. So um, they're both heating up. The oven's gonna try to hit 500 degrees. We'll let those pans warm up and uh, we'll make ourselves some pizza. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get the kind of messy work done. I'll get the bacon chopped, we'll get the chicken chopped, and then we'll get the counter space ready here, start rolling out the dough. I find the bacon is a lot easier to slice if it's just about frozen. We took this out of the freezer, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. So it's kind of just off frozen. Um, so it slices really easily, and I'll just put it in the pan like this, and we'll cook it over low heat um, for kind of a while. We'll cook it for 25 or 30 minutes, just over low heat, um, until it fully renders and gets nice and crispy. So as I said, this is the pizza dough recipe from Flour, Water, Salt, Yeast. It's the second time I've made it. Both times, I haven't made it the way it says to in the book. <laughs> and in this one, I did 50% bread flour and 50% whole wheat, uh, white whole wheat flour. Dancing Alley. <laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> I've been making pizza for a long time. Um, I went to college down in Florida and there's a pizza shop that I used to order from when I was down there that made incredible pizza. The best pizza I had ever had. Uh, it was called Fratello's in Winter Park, Florida. And when I came home, I couldn't find pizza, anything like that up here in New Hampshire. So I started making pizza. I don't know that I've made pizza as good as Fratello's, but I've enjoyed the process quite a bit. These in. I like to push my bacon pretty far. I like it really crispy. I use it on my pizza more as salt than as anything else. It adds a lot of texture in that salty, smoky flavor. It's 
It's time to start making these pizzas. Allie always makes her pizza first. I don't know. I always let Allie go first. So we have two types of pizza peel. We have the wooden type, which we like to use to make the pizza. We find they slide off a lot better, um, but it can be a little bit thick. Um, so when you're trying to scoop the pizza out of the oven, this can be a little bit tough. So when we take the pizzas out, we use this metal one. Um, and you can see on it, we also use this oftentimes to cut the pizzas, this kind of a big scratch pattern from the uh, pizza cutter in the, the top of the peel. I'm going to lift the dough up and Allie will put down some cornmeal on her pizza peel and then um, she'll start making her pie. Happy? Mm -hmm. This dough might stretch a little too easily. <laughs> it's huge. It'll be alright, it'll fit. The only downside with barbecue sauce on your pizza is it is like culinary napalm. This stuff comes out of the oven and it is a million degrees because it has sugar in it. So you really need to give your pizza a minute or two once it comes out of the oven to cool or you will just burn off an entire layer of flesh from your face. <laughs> One more, two more, how many can you fit? One, two. <laughs> and now you have to do the shimmy test. Oh, it's free. All right, pop that baby in the oven. That's a big pizza. I'm gonna try to do my best not to let mine stretch quite so big. Yeah. Lessons learned. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am gonna sprinkle on a little Italian seasoning. I know the pizza's not a particularly Italian pizza, but I like the flavor. And then I use my little bacon shaker. So now I have to do the shimmy test. There we go, she's free. Time for the oven. So I'm gonna give mine a slice, Alice's gonna give hers a slice, and we're gonna eat our dinner. So. Uh, Piece of pizza. <laughs> Easy.